to go over everything that you know it's about a GHD. Sit up, how to use it, who invented it, why is it important. Okay, so here we are. Jamie Jake's here. That's how you properly exit a GHD. First off, we have uh, things like an get again faster GHD. It's fine. It's good. Here's how you get on a GHD. Just like that. It's the only way you're allowed to. But seriously, some big mistakes that we see with GHD sit-ups. Number one, people use their hamstrings and their hip flexors too much, their psoas too much. So we want to be able to use our abs and we want to use more of our quads, particularly our rectus femoris. Our rectus femoris goes from our kneecap right here and it goes all the way up into our pelvis. So it actually serves as a hip flexor, okay? Where our other quad muscles only go into our femur and then into our kneecap right here. So they're only responsible for straightening out your knee. Mm -hmm. We want to use our rectus femoris over our hip flexors and our hamstrings. So this is how people do it wrong. This is when people say like, GHD sit-ups are so bad for you, they hurt your back. You're not, you're doing it wrong. You're not doing it how you're designed, how you're supposed to do it. So how we do it wrong, the knees stay bent and we pull ourselves up with our hamstrings and our hip flexors. What that's gonna do, it's gonna overextend our lumbar spine. The psoas is gonna compress our lumbar spine because it goes into our lumbar spine from our femur in an extended position and jam our spine together where it's not supposed to be jammed, where the nerves actually exit. It's going to cause back pain on everyone who does it for several reps. How we want to do it is we want to propel ourselves up by kicking into this top foot pad. That's what it's there for. It's not there just to keep your feet in place. It's there to actually push up on, propel ourselves with our abs or with our, with our rectus femoris while our abs are serving as stabilizers for our lumbar spine. So here's the difference. Here's how we do it properly. Much different, much more comfortable, less risk for back injury, easier to do, and it will carry over to things like our pull-ups, our toe-to-bar, and that sort of thing because instead of using our hamstrings like we do in a toe to bar, we're using our rectus femoris, kicking the bar up, staying in a hollow position with our abs and not using our hip flexors like we're not supposed to. That's how to do a GHD sit up. You heard it here first and definitely not at your level one. Just kidding, they definitely teach this at level one. Thanks for watching.